Give us here. All right, give us here. Hello. Hello. Give us here. Well, what a what a phenomenal success. Yeah. It's it's crazy this. <laughs> How are you enjoying it? It's been great, to be honest. Um, I think filming, we all sort of hoped it would get to this. Yeah. Um, Did you know as soon as you started this is something special? The script is so the funny. Yeah, yeah. The script straight away, I think you'd read it and know it, like, it bounces off the page. Mm. But we thought, yeah, people will love it because the script is so brilliant. But we thought, we used to say when we were filming, if this goes wrong, it's our fault. Yeah. You know, because we're the ones that have screwed it up. Hold on, that's not a Derry accent. Where's not, it going? It's a Galway accent, sorry. A Norway accent? Uh, no, Galway. Yeah. A that Galway would, accent? That would have been. Hold on. <laughs> All the way from Norway, yeah. No. That no. would be a story, wouldn't it? Yeah. Ah. So, so you, you, you know the script is really funny, but nobody knew that it would be no. to this no. level of... Like it's, you wouldn't have the it's cheek a hit like that. to imagine. Channel 4 recommissioned it all after the first show. Yeah. 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 The most watched comedy they've had, their biggest hit in five years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a shocker for us. We still are taking it all yeah. in. It's it's mental. We never we never thought it would be this. We secretly amazing. we secretly did. We, were we secretly it. did. Yeah, yeah. we secretly <laughs> used to say, guys, it's, it's pretty good, isn't it? Well, it is. Yeah. It is. Even reading it on and and doing the different scenes and everything together, we, yeah. we were laughing. Yeah, and that's always a good sign. Do you know what I mean? What type of reaction were you getting on the streets? Well, I would say I still live in Derry, so it's been mad. <laughs> it's been Selfies and autographs. Yeah, and A lot. Um, it's been great. Everyone's really positive about it. I think Derry people sort of have a, a kind of... Because it's obviously about Derry and a lot of people have been in that position before, there is a sort of protectiveness around it. And, like, um, I, I want to say ownership, but, like, in a, in a really positive way. Like, this is our wee show and this is to do with us. So I find that the people I speak to and, and people bump into are very... Are very undead as well. And do, you know, do you know part of what I love about it is that you know, I've, I've worked in, in England for quite a few years and sometimes you'll get you know uh, either callers or people in the in the industry that I work in saying oh no we can't do that because we can't understand that Northern Ireland yeah. accent or it's very thick. I've actually had someone suggest that we subtitle uh, some of the Northern Ireland yeah. accent. I, yeah. they, they got slapped let me tell you metaphorically <laughs> speaking. And what, I, what I love about your show is it's now forcing the, the English and other people to under... It's not the other way round. They're, yeah. they're being yeah. forced to understand... And I think it's, it's, it's all the better for that. I think yeah. Lisa's written it so true mm -hmm. to her own experience. I think that yeah. really comes across. And for it to be watered down, I think, you know, it would lose a lot of what's so special about it. And it just shows that, you know, people have this very narrow view of, like, regional acts and stuff. And then you see yeah. it and go, no, actually, people love it. And they want to mm. hear those voices and those stories as well. We see you all live together, is that right? Yeah, yeah. We had our own apartments in the same yeah, house. Yeah, we... yeah. Oh, so you weren't, you weren't living in the one apartment? It, it no. sort of ended up Ended like up that. being quite like that. Quite yeah. like that. We'd film like long, like 13, 14 hour mm. days and then we'd go home and have a debrief with wine. Yeah. So that, I mean, uh, I would never do that. So that must be a recipe. <laughs> that must be a recipe though in that intense environment for the odd argument and all ah, that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, of course. Stuff. Have you fallen out much? I think we... All the time. All the time. We did a lot on set, but I think it was more... It became a bit like siblings, you know, yeah. like it was sort of just really silliness. It wasn't that big of a deal, and then it was done in like proper, an hour. Proper friendships, mm. you have to argue. It's not a real friendship. It's just mm. like, oh, you're so amazing. You're so yeah. great. But there'd be days where you're like, just don't. Just yeah. don't. We can't. Sort of I think putting on the school uniform as well does something to you. It does. It does. Yeah, and everybody else around you. Because everybody suddenly <laughs> yeah, sees you as that. It tells you when to watch it, and if you're not allowed to leave the room, like, and yeah. can you all be quiet? <laughs> we're like, yeah. I've, I've been, I'm, I'm, I'm getting tortured even at the moment. Ask them about the dead pigeon story. Ask them the about dead the dead <laughs> pigeon story. So, what the hell is the dead pigeon story? <laughs> um, and shut up in a gallery. I'm going to ask them about the dead pigeon story. The dead pigeon story. Basically, um, Saoirse, who plays Erin, has a phobia of birds and a bird flew into her window of her apartment and died. And then no one oh. wanted to clear it up, so I was like, oh, I'll do it, I'll, I'll take one for the team. So I went to her apartment in my pajamas, and then our, the basement, it was where our bins were. So I was like, we'll go down to the basement. We went down with no phones, no anything, <laughs> and got locked in the basement <laughs> with this dead bird. <laughs> you locked <laughs> it. And so we had to like run up to the, to the gates where you know, all the cars were coming out. We were like, please, someone help us. Then a woman came along, rang Jamie Lee's well, apartment, where us, these us two were. were in, in my apartment. This is like having a glass now. of wine. So we're basically yeah. having a glass of wine, waiting for these to come up. We thought, God, they're really rude. Like We're sitting here, and the wine's open, and they're not here. That's a bit rude. <laughs> and then the buzz, we've got like little buzzers with um, like, like little TVs. So a woman came up and buzzed my buzzer and she spoke, she, I think she spoke in like broken English. She was like, um, people want to come up, people need to come in, people. And I was like, 
So weird. No. I just like, <laughs> turned it off. <laughs> so continue drinking, yeah. Some weirdos there trying to get into our apartment. Anyway, <laughs> wine, know. wine, where are they? Yeah. So and they were like, we were locked in the, in the basement for a good hour, myself and Sarah being like, this yeah. is it now. This is how we and die. pajamas. It's the end. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that is the dead pigeon That's story. The dead pigeon That's story. it. <laughs> what, what, this is clearly a huge platform. Has your ambition gone on to a different level now? You're like you're thinking about other roles, are you getting other offers? Has this is this a game changer I for you? It's, yeah, it's been mad for all of us. Um, I'm doing something at the moment which is really really different. I'm doing a show called Harlots with um, Samantha Morton and Leslie Manville, who's just been nominated for an Oscar the other week, and Liv Tyler. So they're they're harlots. <laughs> so you can tell it's quite different from from Claire. <laughs> is it like homework learning the script? No. Well, you get sides, so, so it's I'm lucky with this show. I, I don't know what I'm saying until it's said. That's it. It's made up as I go along. Well, I suppose with filming, it's, it's kind of similar. You know, you only do a couple of scenes a day. Yeah. So you get your sides for that day. So it's not like theatre. We have to learn a full script. Yeah. You, you only get your wee bits that you have to do the next day. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But you still need to, mm. you still need to know down. it, right? We'd sit down every evening and kind of go through them. the night before. Definitely. The wine the night before. It was all, it's all part of the process. <laughs> Very professional. And what's your, what's your goal now? Um, just, just hopefully to keep going with, with this. I've always been really ambitious when it comes to acting and, and my career, so um, just stay on the same track and hopefully just, just keep going with it and get, get more and more roles and hopefully slightly variation in roles as well will be quite good. <laughs> and Nadine Coyle here might be in the, the next series. Is this, is so this we true? hear. So we hear. Well. Yeah, we'd be the last people to know. Mm. It's, it's all still being written at the moment, so I think everything that we hear, we're all just like, well, that might be true, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to start rumours, we're like, Barack Obama's in it. Yeah. <laughs> He's playing <laughs> my dad. <laughs> Sorry, no, I know I already have a dad. He's playing my mom. It's a real, yeah. yeah. I, was, I, was, I was saying earlier on that I, I want my show to be uh, partly a celebration of, of everything that's good about Northern Ireland yeah. and Northern Ireland talent, and you guys are, are blowing that out of the water, right? It's Thanks. just fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, and I think a lot of people will, will admire what you're achieving. And, and thank you for coming in. And thank no more so partying much. and all this no drinking, by the way. No, 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 never. Thank much. you very much. <laughs> Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for tonight. Thank you, everybody. See you next week. Night night.